Hi, welcome to the channel NCRT Maths Tutor. In this video, we will discuss relationship between semi-major axis, semi-minor axis and the distance of the focus from the center of the ellipse. We know whenever we consider an ellipse, the ellipse associated with many parameters. So, I have taken one ellipse here. In this case, the line segment which passes through the foci of the ellipse is known as major axis. So, this is major axis and the length of the major axis is 2a. And here, if I consider one part of the major axis, then we call that as semi-major axis. So, now this is semi-major axis. The length of semi-major axis is A. Similarly, the length of another semi-major axis is also A. Next here we have the focus points. With respect to ellipse, we have two focus points. Here F1 and F2. So, that's why we call them as foci of the ellipse. Foci means it is the plural form of focus. Next here, the line which is perpendicular to the major axis, this line, this line we call as minor axis of the ellipse and the length of the minor axis of the ellipse is 2b. And here in minor axis also, we have two parts. If I consider one part, we call this as semi-minor axis. Similarly, this is also known as semi-minor axis. The length of semi-minor axis is b and the Length of minor axis is 2b and here the points, the end points of the major axis are known as vertices of the ellipse. So, this already we know and also see here we have the c. The c is the distance of the focus point f1 from the center and this is also distance of the focus point f2 from the center. Now here we need to derive the relation between semi-major axis, semi-minor axis and distance of the focus from the center of the ellipse. So to derive this relation, let us consider first one point which is located on the ellipse. So you can take here any point. See here, first of all, I am taking the point Q. So now I have taken the point Q. So, we know that from the definition of the ellipse, the sum of the distances from the point to the foci is always a constant value in the case of ellipse. You can take any point which is located on the ellipse and for all those points, the sum of the distances from the point to the foci is always same. So, now I have taken the point Q. So, this sum that is QF1 plus Q f2 is always a constant value. So, first of all, let us find out this distance value. See here, if I join this q with f1 and this q with f2, here you can observe we get two right angle triangles. One right angle triangle is qf1o, another one is qf2o. And we know in the right angle triangle, we can apply the Pythagoras theorem. So, here if I consider this right angle triangle QOF1, here this distance is C, this is the semi minor axis which is B and this we can find out by applying the Pythagoras theorem that is hypotenuse square F1 Q square is equal to F1 O square plus Q O square. So, F1 Q is equal to square root of F1 O square plus Q O square. So, F1Q is equal to F1O is C, so square root of C square plus QO is B plus B square. So, this is the value of F1Q. So, we got the distance of this point from the first focus which is square root of B square plus C square. Next, let us find out this distance. So, see here also we have this value as B, this as C. So, you can apply the Pythagoras theorem. So, we have F2Q square is equal to QO square plus F2O square. So, F2Q is equal to square root of QO square plus F2O square. So, QO square, QO is B, F2O is C. So, F2Q is equal to square root of B square plus C square. Now, we got these two distance values. Next here, to derive the relation between semi-major axis, semi-minor axis, see first of all, let us consider one point which is the end of the major axis. 
see here we have two points these two points are the end points of the major axis so now here i will consider one point let us say that that point is p so this point is at the end of the major axis now from this point we need to find the distance to foci because this point is also located on the ellipse so f1 p plus f2 p gives the same constant value so here let us find out that f1 p plus f2 p see this f1 p we can write as f1 o plus o p so that i am writing here then we have f2 p then f1 o f1 o distance is c let us write that o p is a which is semi major axis plus f2 p see this distance we can find easily if you do a minus c this distance is a this much is c so i want this distance that means a minus c is nothing but this distance that is f2 p so f2 p is a minus c here you can cancel this we get the value 2a so this is the sum of the distance of the point p to the foci so we got this distance that is for the point p now let us consider one more point which is the end of the minor axis see if i consider the minor axis here we have two points of course you can take any point i will take here the point q consider the point q which is located at the end of the minor axis now let us find the distance of this point from the foci see here f1 q distance of this point from the foci means we need to find out f1 q plus f2 q so f1 q plus f2 q f1 q value already we have calculated here similarly f2 q value also we have calculated let us substitute that in this place so we have is equal to square root of b square plus c square plus b square plus c square is equal to 2 square root of b square plus c square now see if you compare these two things see you can observe here these two values are nothing but the sum of the distances of the point to the foci so if you consider the definition of the ellipse we know that in the case of ellipse the sum of the distances of the point to the foci is always a constant value always a same value whichever point you consider on the ellipse and if you find the sum of distance of that point to the foci you are getting the same answer that means we can equalize these two things as p and q points lies on the ellipse so we can say here 2a is equal to this so 2a is equal to 2 into square root of b square plus c square now here you can cancel this so we get a is equal to square root of b square plus c square if you square on both sides then we get a square is equal to b square plus c square or you can write this as c square is equal to a square minus b square or c is equal to square root of a square minus b square so this is the relation between the semi major axis semi minor axis and the distance of the focus from the center of the ellipse see here a is the semi major axis length b is the semi minor axis length and here c is the distance of the focus from the center of the ellipse if you like this video please like and subscribe also click the bell icon to get regular notification thanks for watching